What's up guys, it's me Byron. Uh, I have another video of my 300ZX twin turbo. But uh, on this video, what I'm gonna be showing is my Viper 5704V alarm. And uh, what I'm really gonna be focused on is mostly uh, showing you the remote start function, um, especially since my Z is a five speed manual. So uh, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna go to like a empty parking lot or toy park and uh, like yeah, I said, the main one and then this one. This is like a two-way pager type of remote. And here on the side, that's where you can recharge the remote. So you don't have to keep buying batteries for it. I'm not going to get much into detail about this alarm because it's been out for a couple years now. I got mine in 2013 and then got it installed uh, in 2015 by Rick Norman. Which, uh, he's one of the owners of z -Shack which is a Z32 shop here in Houston, along with Scott Taylor. And uh, so yeah, shout out to him because he was the one who installed it. So, and just like any alarm, it has a it has a lock. Let me try to focus it. Lock and unlock. So, lock. And like I said, it's a two-way pager remote, so it lets you know what's going on. And, uh, my door locks do actually, you know, they move by themselves. I don't have any actuators moving them for me. So right now it's unlocked, so I'm gonna lock it. You can see that it'll move by itself. Over there on the passenger side, I'm gonna unlock it now. So yeah, same thing on the driver's side. You know, locks and locks by itself. Lock. it opens so uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna leave the door open all right so I'm gonna do the remote start feature now uh, the car is in neutral and had the e-brake is on so all you got to do on the on the main remote you got to press that middle button this one right here you just got to press it once it makes a little sound and then the car will start E-brake is on, the, li the lights turn on, and with the same button you turn it off, so all right so that's that, so now what I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you that if you leave it on gear it will not start, so like I, uh, a while ago, I showed that it was in neutral. Now I'm gonna leave it on second gear. I'm gonna grab the remote. I'm gonna try to act like I wanna start the car. And what the alarm is gonna do, it's gonna give me an error message on the remote. So press the binnel button. Remote start error. And then the lights flicker. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna press the middle button. It gives that error message, it vibrates, gives the light and the lights flicker. And then also one thing we had to do when, well Rick had to do when he was installing the alarm, obviously you know there's no key right now. Um, he also, he had to bypass that switch that engages whenever you put in the clutch pedal so when we start the car I, hunt, I don't have to press the clutch pedal I'm gonna put on neutral I'm gonna start it with the key so yeah that was that was bypass um, on the installation of the alarm so yeah that's pretty much what I wanted to show let me close the door um, as long as you know you you have the the alarm installed correctly to the I think it's to the neutral safety switch uh, you know it would work just fine you know you won't have that problem if because I mean I've heard stories too that you know someone left it in gear and they start up the car and boom goes forward into the garage or something 
you know I've heard those 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 stories and I think I've seen videos too but um, you know like, like I'm gonna repeat myself so as long as you have the alarm and start correctly she should work fine um, so let me shut her off I'm gonna show the I'm gonna start it up again with the remote obviously I'm gonna put my feet up so that way I'm gonna have it on neutral and then the, there's nothing on the ignition so we're gonna do the uh, remote start which was the middle button again there we go no key car is on well the engine's on neutral so say that you were inside you know you turn on the car so once you come in um, obviously the lights turn on so once you come in you grab your key you grab your key and then you put it on the ignition on the on position and then once you press the brake and you start taking off the lights will turn off see I put on gear and then and then yeah you take off and you go on your day so yep that's pretty much what I wanted to show you the alarm until next time guys